Welcome to 365 Inspired Yoga Classes. My name is Janet and today is day 66 and our inspiration for practice today is yoga for peace of mind. So take a moment and think about what brings you peace of mind. Perhaps it is a person that always makes you feel peaceful or a song you hear or going to the beach or whatever it is. And for me, yoga helps bring me peace of mind and I hope this practice brings you peace of mind as well. We're going to begin our practice seated on the mat. If you need to prop on top of a blanket, you might take a blanket and place it beneath your seat and that will make seated easy pose, Sukhasana, which is sometimes just called easy pose, easy and peaceful for you. So I put the blanket beneath my seat and I sit toward the front of the blanket so that my pelvis kind of tilts back a little bit and that makes it easier for your hips. You can add an extra blanket or even sit on a block if that works better for you. So as you come to seated on your yoga mat, we'll begin by reaching high above our heads and bring your palms to touch above you in a prayer position and then slowly bring your hands down to your heart space. Rest your thumb knuckles right against your breastbone and gaze down at your fingertips or close your eyes. And let's formally set an intention for our practice to find peace of mind. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up. And then slowly exhale out of your mouth. Now seal your lips and breathe slowly in and out of your nose. Open your eyes and release your hands down to your knees and thighs. Let's talk about the breath for a moment and how yoga breathing can bring you peace of mind. When we feel anxious or upset, our breath is short and shallow and quick. And when we feel relaxed, we breathe slowly and deeply. So even if you're feeling anxious and you don't have peace of mind in any moment of your day, Simply slowing down your breath helps bring peace to your body, to your mind, and to your spirit. So continue to breathe through our practice, nice and slow, in and out of your nose. If you need to breathe through your mouth, that's okay as well, but try to keep the breath flowing really slow. Let's shift positions into tabletop. That's hands and knees on your yoga mat. If your knees are a little bit tender, you might take your blanket, unfold it so it's a little bit flatter and place it beneath your knees. If you're really tender in your wrists, you could place a blanket underneath your palms. As you come to tabletop, align your shoulders directly above your wrists and your knees directly beneath your hips. Separate your feet a little bit here. And let's do a yoga flow with the breath. It really helps to slow down the mind and really synchronize the breath. It's cow and cat. Breathe into cow pose by dropping your belly and lifting your tail, lift your gaze up. As you breathe out, round the spine to cat. That's round one. Let's do 10 all together. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Keep going. Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. Breathe really slow. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Can you hear your breath? Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. That's halfway, five more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Breathe in, feel the openness in your heart. Exhale, round it to cat and feel the strength in your core. Three more rounds. Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose. One last time. Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. Come into a neutral tabletop. Keep your legs like they are, knees and feet separated, and simply push your hips back as close to your heels as you can. Sort of like child's pose, but keep the feet separated. Stretch your arms forward as much as you can and soften your forehead down. Just stretch into this peaceful posture, child's pose, a resting pose. If you find it's hard to breathe or your mind is wandering off, just come back to resting here and feel your body stretch. 
to rise up to table. And for this one, I want your hands forward just a little bit. Because we're gonna drop the pelvis, lifting the gaze, bend your elbows close to your body. And they'll call this a high cobra or almost like upward facing dog. Let's flow between these two stretches with the breath. Breathe in as you lift your heart. And as you breathe out, push back to child's pose. Move slowly. Inhale, come forward, high cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Find your own rhythm and flow back and forth between these stretches five or 10 times, whatever feels just right for you. We're adding a little back bend here and as we come forward to cobra. So go only as deep as really feels good and notice how it opens up your heart to come into that position. Breathe nice and slow. You feel the movement in your shoulders and in your hips as you move back and forth. Lift your gaze up when you get to that cobra and bring your neck into the arch. One more round. And then come back to tabletop. Leave it extended as you find your way to down dog. So curling the toes under. Push your body up and back to downward facing dog. Moving in flow brings a sense of peace to the body. So we're bringing some extra flow here. This is pretty strong. You could come back to your hands and knees if you'd rather do a modified version of this. You could do that. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. But here's our goal. We're going to inhale forward to plank top push up and exhale up and back to down dog. If that's too much, you can do it on the knees and we would call that puppy pose to a modified plank. So you can do the modified version or from down dog. Breathe into high plank. Breathe out to down dog. Keep it going. Move forward and back. We'll probably do this maybe 10 times or more if you're feeling really strong today. As you exhale to down dog, be sure to pull the belly in tight. This helps support your back. Couple more rounds. Just keep going in a rhythm that works with your breath, that works with your body. There should be no shoulder pain in this posture. So if you're having shoulder pain, you're pushing too hard and you should modify by coming down to your knees. One more round. Meet me in downward facing dog. If like me, you have a blanket on your mat, push the blanket aside and take it out of the way. Enjoy your down dog stretch for a couple of breaths there. And then let's slowly walk to forward fold. Just take it nice and slow, ease into the stretch. Pretty intense for the back of the legs. Leave your feet separated about hip distance apart. Let your belly rest on your thighs by bending your knees. And maybe you just gently sway side to side. You can touch the mat if you like. Or you can hold your opposite elbows in your palms. Or tuck your pinky fingers into the crook of the opposite elbows. That's really a relaxed way to do it. Just swaying. Can you feel your legs stretching and waking up? Moving easy with the breath. Now release your hands if you're holding opposite elbows and bring your feet together. Soften your knees. Begin to round up to standing all the way up. Once you come up, circle your arms overhead. You arrive in an extended version of mountain with your palms overhead, shoulders relaxed down. Tuck your tail under slightly, pull your belly up and in. Breathe in, look up, and as you breathe out, open into a gentle or a deep backward bend. You might separate your arms or bend your elbows if you like, really feeling that heart opening shape. Breathe in, rise back up. And bring your palms together to touch. And as you exhale, fold forward. It's a good idea to bend the knees a little, take any strain onto the back. Inhale, halfway lift. Let your fingers glide gently up the legs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Shift slightly toward the balls of your feet. Nice, long spine, flat back. Keep breathing. And with your next exhale, plant your palms and step to high plank, the top of a push-up. You have three choices here. You can simply push up and back to downward facing dog. You can come down to your knees. Be sure to tuck the pelvis under. Keep the elbows close as you lower slowly to the mat if this is your choice. 
From there, you'll lift to a low cobra or maybe push to that high cobra all the way to up dog. If you want to take up dog, get your knees and thighs off the mat by pressing the tops of your feet down. Your third option from plank is to do the full yoga push up by shifting forward. Keep the elbows close to the body as you lower halfway down. Breathe in and lift to upward facing dog. And exhale, we all meet in downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths, find stillness in your body. Keep breathing slowly in and out of your nose. Let your head hang heavy between your ear, your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, look to your hands, and as you exhale, walk to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to mountain. Let's do that flow two more times, one breath to one movement. You're standing tall as you breathe in. Breathe out into a back bend. Inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms and come to high plank. Flow or weighting down dog, shifting forward on or off the knees, lower halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Breathe out and step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to mountain. Let's do it again. Breathe out, backward bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms and step to plank. Move through high to low plank in a way that works for you. Breathe in, upward facing dog or cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Three breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, look forward. Breathe out and walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, rise all the way up to now. From here, we're gonna practice some balance postures. We'll begin with eagle. Eagle posture. Eagles are known for having excellent focus. So find yourself in chair pose by sinking your hips down as your arms reach high. From there, you're gonna wrap your right arm underneath your left arm, crossing at the elbows, and bring your palms to touch. Lift your elbows to about shoulder height, sinking down, balance on the left foot by bringing the right leg up and over. Now the right foot can touch down on the outside of your left ankle, like a little kickstand. Maybe it hangs around, and some people can hook their toes. Find that steady eagle focus, and breathe. Stillness. Steady focus, peace of mind. With your next inhale, unravel. Let's rise all the way up to mountain and find our posture on the second side. We start to sit into chair pose by setting the hips back. And then the left arm now will cross underneath the right at the elbows, palms touch. Elbows lift to about shoulder height. Shoulders relax down from the ears. Find that steady pointed focus. Shift to your right foot and tap your left leg over the right, maybe touching like a kickstand. Perhaps you're moving the foot up just a little bit or even wrapping your toes around your ankle if you can. Steady breathing, steady focus. And then slowly unravel, rise all the way up to mountain pose. Bring your palms together to touch and then bring your hands to prayer position. Pause. Feel a sense of inner peace. Feel peace of mind. And let's grow that energy of peace as we move into tree pose. Shift onto your left foot, turn your right foot out, and place the foot against your ankle calf, 
This is important. Please avoid putting the foot on the knee. Reach down if you want to go higher and bring the arch of your right foot to the inner thigh of the left thigh. You want to feel strong in the supporting leg. Standing up nice and tall, roll your shoulders down and back. And if you're feeling it, maybe reach your arms overhead. Continue breathing. Bring a smile onto your face. When you smile, just like when you exercise, you're releasing feel-good endorphins. That's one of the reasons that yoga brings you peace of mind. Bring your hands back to your heart space and lower your right foot down to you. Excellent. Let's try that on the other side. Try to match both sides. In, as best you can in the way that you do the pose. So lifting up the left foot, turn the knee out so there's turn out of the left hip. And then slide the foot up a little bit. And if you want to come a little higher than the knee, remember no pushing on the knee. You reach down with the left hand and place the arch of the left foot on the inner right thigh. You feel strong in the supporting leg, almost like you're pushing into the left foot with the right leg. Your hands could stay in a meditative heart center prayer position, or if you're feeling confident and feeling like growing some branches, reach your arms up without bringing the shoulders with you. Continue to breathe. Doesn't that feel great? And then your hands will come back to your heart center and your left foot returns to the earth. Nicely done. Step to the top of your mat and let's flow. Inhale, mountain. Back bend as you breathe out. Breathe in and rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms and step to plank the top. Push up. Option to lower to the knees. Lower slowly all the way down to the tummy. And open our heart with a few more back bends. We'll begin with that low cobra. Your feet are on the mat. Pressing the tops of your feet into the mat, it feels like your kneecaps can lift as you engage the leg muscles. Then imagine the cobra snake is starting to extend forward as he or she lifts upward. And as you start to lift up and look up, you might bring your hands up as well. Open your heart more by squeezing your elbows toward each other behind you. Taking a few more breaths here, if you can, can you feel the engagement of the muscles in your back? Breathe and go just a little higher. And as you exhale, lower all the way down, resting your arms right there by your side as one side of your face rests on your yoga mat. Ooh, just taking some deep breaths here. Noticing how great it feels to take a moment, a pause, a rest. Ooh. And then lift your chin back to neutral. We're moving into Sphinx pose like the Sphinx in Egypt. So at this point, I want you to let your legs be as relaxed as possible, and then slide your palms forward so that your elbows line underneath your shoulders. Your elbows should be shoulder width apart, so you could reach across and touch your opposite elbow with your fingertips. And if you can reach, then you've got the perfect distance. Separate your palms as wide as your shoulders. You roll your shoulders down and back as you press your heart forward between your biceps. If you can keep your belly and your bums and your legs relaxed, you might find that you can press forward, but use the musculature of your upper arms, upper back, and shoulders to keep your heart pressing forward. If you want to add a gentle stretch for the neck, take a look to the left, bringing your chin toward the left shoulder. Breathe in, come back to center. As you exhale, take a look to the right, bringing your chin toward the right shoulder. Breathe in to come back to center, and then open your elbows wide. Place your palms one on top of each other, and stack your forehead on the back of your hands. Bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet gently side to side to release your lower back. And lay your feet down. Let's do one more, a flying locust. Arms come out wide like the letter T and then you lift your legs up, arms up, chest up, lifting up, lifting as high as you can, just breathing here. Let your arms sweep out like airplane wings. Breathe and lift just a little higher. And as you breathe out, relax all the way down. Arms rest by your side, and now your left cheek comes to rest on the mat. As you gaze to the right, relax your shoulders. Simply breathe. Good. 
Bring your chin back to the mat and push up into tabletop position from there. Let's curl the toes under and find our down dog stretch. Really stretching out the backs of the legs. It might feel good to pedal out the legs a little bit. Looking forward, step all the way through and have a seat on your mat. I thought we would finish our practice today with some slow, deep yin yoga stretches. Yin yoga gets into the fascia or the connective tissue of the body and helps release tension, but it takes a little while. So we'll hold these deep stretches just a minute or two. We'll start with bound angle, bottoms of your feet come together to touch and you pull your heels in close to your groin. If you bring your hands and dig around in the bottoms of your feet, you may find a little spot there that feels stringy or like a knot. And that could be the fascia or the connective tissue of your body that's all pulled up. And we'll start to dig around in there and see if you can find a release. Good. And then grow really tall and see if you can hinge forward at the hips, using your elbows to push your knees even wider. We'll hold this posture for another 30 seconds. So you sat up right for 30 seconds and now we're hinging forward, deepening the stretch for another, well, now we're down to about 15 seconds. How's the breathing? Keep your breath flowing nice and slow. Ooh. In yin, this posture is called butterfly pose because the legs open like butterfly wings. Good, and rise up slowly. Let's take half butterfly and a forward fold stretch by taking the right leg and sending it out in front of you. You can bring the sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh like we did when we balanced in tree pose. I'm going to try to square your hips to the extended leg. Reach up nice and tall as you breathe in and as you exhale, hinge forward. Just hanging out here as best you can. Try to square your shoulders with the floor with your yoga mat. And it's okay to drop your chin toward your chest and really get into this stretch. What I'm hoping you're feeling, there's a little opening still for the left hip, but mostly it's the back of the right leg, the hamstring muscles, calf muscle, all of that back there. If you're not feeling much there, you might flex your right foot toward your face. If you're feeling it a lot, you can always bend the right knee and take some of the tension out and enjoy the stretch. For me, I also begin to feel this in my back as well as I'm stretching there. We're almost there, about 15 seconds left in this half butterfly stretch. And to release from this posture, you just come up nice and slow, moving slowly, maintaining that nice, easy peace of mind. Switch out your legs so the left leg extends and the right foot comes in. Place the right foot on the inner left thigh Pull your left hip back a little bit, squaring the hips. Reach up nice and tall, breathe in. And as you exhale, begin to hinge forward, just feeling the stretch in the bottom of your left foot, in the back of your left leg, and maybe even in your back. If you drop the chin to the chest for more of a back stretch, please feel free to do that here as well. If you're not feeling much, flex your left foot more. If you're feeling it quite a lot, maybe too much, you can always bend the left knee, taking a little tension out of the back of the left leg. You want to make sure you're not causing any back strain in this. You're more than halfway there, hanging in there. We've got about 20 seconds left in this yin yoga stretch. How's your breath? Keep it very peaceful, long and slow and deep. Slowly rise back up. We'll send both legs out in front of us and pull the flesh of your tush maybe back a little bit as we take one more minute long deep yin stretch of forward fold. Breathe in and reach up. It's okay to bend the knees a little if you need to. As you breathe out, begin to hinge and fold. And we'll hold here for a whole minute. If it's too much, you know the modification. Bending the knees or rising up out of the pose. And if you're not getting enough out of it, flex your feet back even more. You can keep your gaze lifted, that's one version, or stretch into the back by lowering your chin to your chest and folding forward deeply. Good. Feels good to take it slow and just stretch. I hope you can notice your breath as it flows nice and easy. 
Stay peaceful in your mind by staying connected to your body sensations and staying connected to your breath. The to-do list will come to you after your yoga practice. Just stay right here with me a little bit longer. We're a little more than halfway, about 25 seconds left to go as we get this deep, intense forward fold stretch. Excellent, last 10 seconds, keep breathing. Good. Move nice and slow as you rise up. Place your feet on the mat right beneath your seat. Use your abdominal strength as you slowly lower all the way down to your back. Take it nice and slow. Once you come all the way down to your back, hug your knees into your chest and find a little extra length for your lower back as you gently rock side to side. From here, take your arms out like the letter T. Breathe in as you breathe out. Let both of your knees drop over to the left. Take your left hand and place it on the right thigh and turn your gaze to the right to complete the spinal twist. Turn your right palm open as your right shoulder connects to the mat. Feeling your body twisting. Mm, just breathe nice and slow. Unravel your twist by drawing both knees back up into your chest. Give them a little squeeze and then extend your arms out like the letter T and drop both knees in the opposite direction over to the right. Place your right hand on your left thigh and turn your gaze to the left to complete the spinal twist. What a great way to unwind here at the end of our yoga for peace of mind practice. Mm, slowly unravel, bringing your knees into your chest for a squeeze. And then find yourself reclining in Shavasana. And as you rest, I'd like to take you through a slow, a brief little meditation. So start with your eyes wide open. And as you have your eyes open, I want you to look around and just name five things, maybe silently, or if you want to say them out loud, you certainly can do that. From there, after you've found those five things that you can name, close your eyes and notice four things you can feel. Could be your clothing or the air in the room, your breathing, four things you can feel. What three things can you hear right now? Probably one is my voice. Are there two other things that you notice that you hear? What two things do you smell? And if it's hard to identify two of you distinct smells, maybe remember two smells. And what is one thing you can taste in your mouth right now? This meditation helps to connect you to your five senses and when we're connected to our senses, then we feel more present moment and more peace of mind. You are welcome to continue to recline for a length of time or wake up your body by wailing your fingers and toes and maybe enjoy a full body stretch. Slowly roll to one side of your body and come up to seated. And as you come to seated on your yoga mat, we've come full circle back to where we started. I'd like to share a quote from Wayne Dyer, one of my favorite inspirational people. And he says, peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is, rather than how you think it should be. Bring your hands to prayer position in front of your heart. I hope you find peace of mind today. I hope you found it in your yoga practice with me and you find it and carry it with you throughout the rest of your day. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for yoga this morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time it is for you. 
Thank you for sharing your comments and sharing our YouTube channel, Free Yoga Club, with your family and friends. Thank you.